after her life-changing encounter with Jesus, the woman left her water pot, the very reason she came to the well, and rushed back to the city to tell everyone what had happened. Her excitement was so overwhelming that she couldn't keep the news to herself. She didn't wait to figure everything out or worried about how people will respond. She simply shared what she has experienced. Meanwhile, the disciples returned and were puzzled by Jesus' interaction with the woman. But they didn't dare ask about it. Instead, they argued him to eat. But he responded in a very surprising way. I have food to eat that you know nothing about. When they were confused, he clarified saying, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Then Jesus shifted the conversation to the harvest, telling them they weren't as good at determining when the harvest was ready as they thought. He told them to lift up their eyes because the harvest was ready, even if they hadn't realized it. If they had asked the disciple that moment, if Samaritans were ready to receive the gospel, they would probably would have said, those people, no way. They couldn't see it. Yet the entire city came to Jesus because of the testimony of one woman. Many believed, not because they were expected to be ready, but because Jesus saw that his disciple could not see. This is where we, as a church, need to be very careful. Sometimes we act as if we know the exact timeline of God's plan, or when people are ready to hear the gospel. But like Jonah, who taught the people of Nineveh weren't ready for repentance, we can easily fall into the trap of thinking that a certain groups or people aren't ready to accept the truth. We need to let go this mindset. Evangelism isn't it about our timing or what we think is right way to reach people. It is about being sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit and following his direction. It is not about controlling when and how the message is shared, but about moving in faith and allowing God to work in his people's heart and turning them to himself. If we focus too much on our own plan and strategy, our understanding of when people are ready or not, we miss out on the real work of the Holy Spirit. The woman didn't wait for a perfect condition. She simply shared her testimony, and because of her, a whole city was transformed. So the challenge for us is, are we willing to let our own expectation go and let the Spirit be our God? And that is the nugget. Thank you for sitting in. I will see you tomorrow.